हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेबीआर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज 10.2 दैट इज अरिथमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन और इन शॉर्ट यू कैन कॉल दिस एपी ओके अरिथमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन now first here you have to know what is the definition of arithmetic progression suppose a sequence it might be finite or infinite okay a sequence is called an arithmetic progression if the difference of any term from its preceding term is constant okay if and only if the difference of any term from its preceding term is constant and here this constant is called common difference and it's denoted by small d okay small d equal to here common difference clear now suppose here the general term of an ap okay so here first one like in this way a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus dot 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 and like a even so this is a arithmetic series clear now if you want to find out the general term of an ap so here d will be a2 minus a1 and it's always equal that means a3 minus a2 that equal to also d a4 minus a3 that equal to also d so if you want to find out the general term so here is the formula of general term suppose a n a n is the general term and here the formula is a plus n minus 1 into d okay here n means number of terms a means first term and d is the common difference okay i repeat here small a is the first term n means number of terms and d means common difference so here suppose if a is the first term and d is the common difference okay suppose here a equal to first term and d equal to here common difference then the ap series will be in this way a then sorry it's comma a plus d then a plus 2d then a plus 3d dot 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 last one a plus n minus 1d okay that means here the last term equal to a plus n minus 1d so you can also write down the formula of the last term that means l l is denoted the last term so here the formula a plus n minus 1 into d so this is the formula for the general term and this one is the formula for the last term clear okay now let's move on to the exercise problems so here the first problem some number 1 1 write the tenth term okay write the tenth term of each of the following sequence so first write down the sequence minus 3 minus 2 whole 1 by 4 minus 1 whole 1 by 2 minus 3 by 4 zero dot 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 okay so here the first term a equal to minus 3 and here d equal to second term minus then the first term okay so that one equal to here Uh, minus 9 by 4 plus 3. So that one equal to here minus 9 plus 12 divided by 4, and that one equal to 3 by 4. Okay, so 3 by 4 here the common difference. Now here you have to find out the tenth term. So that means here you can apply the formula of the general term. So the formula is a n that one equal to here a plus n minus 1 into d. That is the formula for the general term. so as here tenth term that means a ten so here in the place of a minus 3 in the place of n here ten minus 1 in the place of d you can write down 3 by 4 okay here n equal to 10 as here you have to find out the tenth term so here minus 3 then plus here it's 9 9 into 3 that means 27 so 27 by 4 so here minus 12 plus 27 by 4 so it's 5 1 so 15 by 4 okay so 15 by 4 is the 10th term that is your answer 
now next one number 2 so here in number 2 root 3 root 12 root 27 root 48 dot 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 okay so that means here root 3 okay so here a equal to here root 3 d equal to here root 12 minus root 3 so root 12 means root 4 into 3 okay that means here 2 root 3 and then root 3 so 2 root 3 minus root 3 that one equal to here root 3 so here you have to find out the tenth term so a 10 equal to a plus n minus 1 that means 10 minus 1 so it's 9 and then here d that means root 3 so that one equal to here 10 root 3 okay 10 root 3 is your answer now the next one sum number 2 here find the seventh term from the end remember that from the end okay of the sequence minus 5 minus 2 1 4 dot 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 8 85 so that means here the last term that means a equal to here 85 and here in that case whenever you want to find out the seventh term or fifth term or sixth term from the end then the formula will be suppose here the seventh term from the end so in that case the formula will be last term minus then here the number of terms will be n minus 1 so in that case i see as 7 so it means here n equal to 7 so n here you can write down 7 minus 1 and then the common difference that means d so here d equal to minus 2 then minus minus plus 5 that means here 3 so here write down 3 so here 85 minus 6 into 3 so 85 minus 18 and that one equal to 67 as your answer okay now next one sum number 3 which term of the sequence here 20 then 19 whole 1 by 4 okay after that here 18 18 whole 1 by 2 then 17 whole 3 by 4 dot 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 is the first negative term okay is the first negative term you have to find out this one so in that case as here the first term a equal to here 20 okay that is the first term now next thing you have to find out the common difference so here d equal to 19 whole 1 by 4 minus 20 that one equal to here 77 by 4 minus 20 okay so 77 that means here it's minus 3 by 4 so minus 3 by 4 is the common difference now let the nth term of the sequence be the first negative term i repeat let the nth term of the sequence be the first negative term that means here a n less than 0 you know the formula of a n that is a plus n minus 1 into d less than 0 so here a equal to 20 here n minus 1 and then d equal to minus 3 by 4 less than 0 so that means here minus 3 by 4 n minus 1 less than minus 20 okay minus 3 by 4 n minus 1 less than 20 so here 3 by 4 n minus 1 greater than 20 if you multiply minus in both side so here n minus 1 greater than 20 into here 4 by 3 okay so that means here n minus 1 greater than here it's 80 by 3 so here you can write down n minus 1 greater than sorry not n minus 1 just write down n here only so n greater than 80 by 3 plus 1 that means n greater than 83 by 3 okay n greater than 83 by 3 then n greater than here 27 whole 2 by 3 okay so that means here 28 is the least natural number satisfying the equation so here you can write down n equal to 28 so hence 28th term of the given sequence be the first negative term so here your answer 28 Now next one, sum number four. 
which of the term of the sequence here 14 14 minus 9 i the next one here 12 minus 8 i then here 10 minus 7 i dot 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 is the first one here real and second one here imaginary okay so as here first one real so here a equal to 14 minus 9 i that means the first term and d equal to here 12 minus 8 i then minus 14 plus 9 i so that means here minus 2 plus i okay that is the common difference minus 2 plus i so here you have to find out which term of the sequence is a real number so here a n will be the formula a plus n minus 1 into d so a means here 14 minus 9 i plus here n minus 1 then minus 2 plus i so that means here 14 minus 9 i then here if you multiply with minus 2 so minus 2 n that will equal to 2 then here n i minus i okay n i minus i so that means here 14 14 to 16 so write down directly 16 minus 2 n and then if i will be common so it will be here in minus 1 and then here minus 9 okay in minus 1 minus 9 so that means here 16 minus 2 in plus i here in minus 10 okay now let now let that nth term of the sequence is a purely real number okay so if that one equal to a real number then definitely that portion n minus 1 n minus 10 i that portion will be definitely 0 okay so here you can write down n minus 10 that one equal to 0 so n equal to here 10 okay that is your first answer now the next part so here the next part it's imaginary number okay let's put here imaginary number so here the nth term of the sequence is the imaginary number that means the real part will be 0 for the that is for the first one now that one will be 16 minus 2n that one equal to 0 when the sequence the first term is the imaginary okay the sequence the term is the imaginary so that one equal to here 16 equal to 2n and then n equal to here 8 now next sum number 5 which term of the series here x plus 1 then here x plus 4 then here x plus 7 plus dot 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 is x plus 2 8 so as here a equal to x plus 1 then d will be here x plus 4 minus x minus 1 so that means here 3 now suppose here the nth term will be here x plus 2 8 that means a n equal to x plus 2 8 so here you can write down a plus n minus 1 into d the formula that one equal to x plus 2 8 so x plus 1 then here n minus 1 d means here 3 so it will be here x plus 28 so here n minus 1 into 3 then 28 minus 1 is 27 so that one equal to here 9 so here n equal to 10 that means the 10th term is x plus 2 8 next sum number 6 if the third term okay if the third term of an ap is 12 that means here a3 equal to 12 and the seventh term is 24 so a7 equal to here 24 then find the tenth term that means you have to find out a10 so here a3 equal to 12 you know the formula a n equal to a plus n minus 1 into d that means a3 will be here a plus 2d because here n means 3 so 3 minus 1 and a7 equal to a plus 6d so you can write down here a plus 2d equal to 12 a plus 6d that one equal to 24 
so now here you can write down a plus 6d 24 a plus 2d here 12 now subtract it so a will be here cancel out so 4d equal to here 12 and then d equal to 3 so as here d equal to 3 then a equal to 12 minus 2 into d that means 2 into 3 so 12 minus 6 that one equal to 6 so here a 10 will be the formula a plus 9d so a here 6 plus 9 into 3 so that means here 6 plus 27 okay so 6 plus 27 so here your answer that is 33 now the next one sum number 7 this is the last sum for this video so guys if you like my video please please share this video and please subscribe my channel so here how many terms are there in the AP that minus 1, minus 5 by 6, minus 2 by 3, minus 1 by 2, dot, 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 and the last term here 10 by 3. That means here you have to find out the value of N. So here A equal to minus 1, then you can easily find out D minus 5 by 6 plus 1. So that one equal to here minus 1 by 6. So you know the formula of AN. So here a in that means or you can directly apply the formula of the last term. So a equal to here a plus n minus 1 into d. So as here last term equal to 10 by 3 a equal to here minus 1 n minus 1 and d equal to here minus 1 by 6. Okay so here 10 by 3 plus 1 then here n minus 1 and then 1 by 6. So that imply you can write down here uh, it's 13 by 3 then into 6 that one equal to here n minus 1 3 cancel out this one it's 26 so 26 plus 1 that one equal to n that means here 27 equal to n so value of n equal to here 27 that is your final answer.